What's up guys here in Oriental, North Carolina? It's pretty cloudy today. This is the day of the storm. Supposed storm. So it's uh, just getting a little breezy. Don't actually expect it to be much more than that. But it has been rainy most of the day, so I've had time to complete some videos. Met a subscriber the other day, a buyer, and y'all remember he came out and met me halfway across the Noose River. So Byron's a great guy. He took me fishing. We uh, went out right up the river here, caught a few little fish, nothing to write home to mama about, but we had a good time. We checked that out. I had good times right over there on the dock, but I moved it over here to the other side just to get a little closer. This uh, cool little place Oriental is. Big fishing, shrimping area. Yeah, this is why I moved over here to get behind this big boy right here. Yeah, I figured if any wind came in, I wouldn't have any problems. But anyways, y'all check out this video. Hope you enjoy it. All right, we're getting ready to go out. Gonna do a little fishing, good times right there. Look at that, it's like a pro. You might've done this once or twice. <laughs> Yep. So we right here in Oriental. Uh, I just caught earlier what uh, about a 26 inch. Look, I'll, I got it in the live well. I'll, okay. I'll drag it out of here. We'll get a picture of that. All right, we're gonna look at that later. Got some work going in, getting ready for the storm, I guess. Yep. Yep, Carolina Skiffs, boy, they get her done. This is an extra wider one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this extra wide, yeah. Well, this is the 198V series, which got, it has a little V in the front. Okay. Not totally flat like the other ones are. Okay. But, uh, So guys, I wouldn't want to give away Byron's uh, secret fishing spots, but as you can tell, we're in Oriental and we're back up under the bridge. Hey, and you usually know it right away too, ain't it? Like you just know it right away. Yeah, cause puppy drum hit right away. See, he got the kind of windless I got right now. <laughs> Manual, guaranteed, That's never it. quit working. That's it. Yeah, that is cold beer now, guys. I ain't driving. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no drinking and driving. Yeah, I just bought a new sonar for this thing, and if I'd have known my motor was gonna go kaplow. Guys, these are mud minnows. Just a little bit, but... These minnows are guaranteed to catch fish or die trying. <laughs> If you get a fish, keep some pressure on him because I bent the barbs on these hooks because if they're not legal, I let them go. And it's a whole lot easier to let them go. Uh oh, there's a spot right over there. Yeah, that's a spot. There's something more in this one. I'm right handed. Good, you're good. Some people wrong handed, but. That's <laughs> you, you fish it the way I do. <laughs> I said, let me go back over there and try it. As soon as I put it in the water, it got pulled off. Yeah, that's one thing about shrimp. You're either going to catch it or lose it. Catch something or lose it. Hey. This spring, I guess it was May, and you can pop that cork every now and then to try to get something going on. Um, the, fish, the, the schools of fish were in here. Catch something every cast. Man, we done got messed up out here with Byron. He done brought me out here. 
<laughs> we got the fish going on. I ain't gonna lie, I done got me a cold bud light. You know, we, we got in the secret spot. Is. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, See? that's hung on something. You done took you straight down. Yeah, that's a three ton, it's a three ton flounder then. Right there by when you did that, he just ran. They might have already got mine. You got something? You got a fish on? Oh, oh, keep, keep, keep it going. I'm just trying to get that camera to him. He ain't no monster, but the first fish on the boat. Let's see if I can get him on the boat. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, stick. I got a stick fit. Hey, a baby puppy drum. Yeah. There you go. Dude, the bait was almost big as he was. He he's a he's an achiever. Look at that. That's the bait and there he is. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed it like he owned it though, you know it? I got a stick fish. Now what's a good size of them? Well the legal size is 18 inches. It's gotta be 18 and no bigger than 27 to keep. Okay. And of course they go up to 75 pounds. Wow. Bull red drum. Uh huh. I don't know what the state record here is, but uh, in, the, in the fall, August and September, out in the noose, the guys go fishing for the bulls at night. And they'll go anywhere from 25 to 50 pounds. Hmm. But you can't keep them. And there's, if you're using live bait or if you're using uh, cut bait, there is a specialty rig that you're supposed to use, which is supposed to help keep them from swallowing the hooks. Mm -hmm. All right, now I've learned, y'all, this up here. Hook him in the lip. Goes through the bottom lip, up through the front top. Exactly. That seems to be pretty much the same. Universal. Yep. Don't Jeez. stick your finger. Should be some bigger, bigger minnows in that bucket. That's a small bucket. <laughs> he's like you, he's about as big as a bait. Yep. I go back and grow up. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm like, talking about them fairies. If you want to go have some fun, go ride a ferry. It's the yeah. cheapest freaking thing you can do to get out on the water, see the water. It's crazy. Exactly. You know, while we were there fishing, I was constantly noticing my surroundings. What a beautiful place it was with the sun setting in behind the trees like it you know, was doing at that time. And though we weren't slaying the fish, man, I was really enjoying myself. Taking it all in. On there now is uh, Guy Trine. Uh huh. It was a gallant try. That's right. Fish, yep. Yep. You get his big brother, he'll be streaming line off. He probably got me. Yeah, you got me. So after fishing that spot, we caught a few little ones, nothing really major. Um, Byron knew of another little spot and we decided we'd ride over there and check it out. Is a little more productive.
So I had to stick it under and then. Oh, look at that. God dang it. Did he come off? He came. I was going to get the I, I was getting ready. I was holding and then waiting. He's pretty big, whatever he was. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good time. Yep, we got him on video. Good time. Oh, he's small. That little spot over there now. There he's a go. small angel. That's encouraging. That's encouraging. Hey, whatever I had a while ago was about 10 times that one. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah buddy. That's how we don't catch him. He ain't much bigger. He just felt like it. Uh huh. Got a bunch of spots. So as you can see, that sun was pretty much set. It's time to head on back. It starts to get dark. It's kind of hard to see those crab pots. They're pretty much all over the river. So we got our things together, headed back to good times. <laughs> is over six hundred dollars oh yeah, well, yeah. So I, I haven't done that there's somebody fishing on the outside right there yeah it's calmed down a little bit but not this this morning when I was first out here about 5 30 the whole Noose River was just slick as it was up there. Nice. It doesn't get that way very often. Um, it's quaint, all right. It is. It, um, Cape May. Yeah. Has a lot of these like strippers. Yeah, right. And they're lit up, and you go in there at night, and it's just pretty as all get out. Love it. Imagine they live on them, and then uh, AC and ice makers, and all that kind of stuff.
<laughs> yep, another good spot. Another All right, good we'll spot. talk to you later. Take care, be careful. All right, you good? Good. I think right. I got everything right. I got camera, camera. But, uh, didn't take a whole lot, so. All right, be careful if I'm going back. Don't, right, don't run over crab pots. If you do, them, the crabs are yours. I'm gonna save this piece of that fish. All right, excellent, absolutely. Take care, man. Thank you.